Hot Lions fans, it's Justin Clark here. Um, I'd like to announce that I've decided to retire from uh, playing AFL. Um, it's been a pretty long decision to get to um, and sort of had a pretty long decision making process. I've sort of seen quite a few specialists and got their opinions. Um, and the best thing for my long term, term health is to retire from the game um, due to the head injury that I sustained. But going forward, uh, I will just continue in my rehabilitation in build, gradually building up exercise. Currently, I can't really uh, run just yet um, and thinking too much hurts my brain. Um, so it's just sort of building that up um, and really working through the physical aspect of it. Hopefully there should be a gradual return of my mainly my memory function. So going forward from here, uh, I'll keep going with my university studies. So I'm currently studying aeronautical engineering. Um, so I'm sort of going along pretty slowly with that at the moment. I sort of struggle to um, learn and remember stuff at the moment, but fortunately, um, once I learn something, I'm still able to um, get it out as fast as I used to be able to, so that's a really big positive and my memory should return to normal um, eventually, so that's, that's a big plus. But going forwards, I'll probably progress into full-time study next year um, and hopefully become an aeronautical engineer um, in probably yeah, three, three and a half years' time. Um, and then from there, who knows, whether it's going over to America or going to Europe um, or even staying in Australia. Um, yeah, I'd really like to get into that industry, um, whether it's supersonic stuff or scramjets or whether it's sort of more um, uh, subsonic type of uh, applications, who knows. Um, it's kind of really exciting and something that has been almost a silver lining um, for me and has been able to make the decision, um, although it's a really sad one, um, it's been able to make that decision easier to, to deal with and sort of gives me a lot of hope um, and an excitement for my future. As a player, uh, there's been some fantastic memories. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to win quite as much during my time at the club um, as I would have liked, but I'd really um, like to probably uh, talk about one standout memory, um, and that was when Ash McGrath in the fairy tale finish, kicked the goal after the sign in, in his milestone game. That was something that was really special to be a part of. Um, and probably in that sequence of events um, was one of my favourite times of playing football where uh, I did a really 1% type of thing um, where it was sort of anchoring down my position and um, from there we were able to get the intercept mark and progress the chain down the field. But I guess that probably sums up the way that I look back on my career. I was never a flashy player, I was never the player that would do anything spectacular, never take a hanger really. I might get a cheap fist in every now and again and spoil the ball, but um, to be honest, it's been, I feel a little bit awkward um, getting up here and standing in front of and talking to you guys because uh, I probably feel that's sort of above where my playing ability has put me. Um, but I'd really like to thank all of your, you guys for your, all of your support. You've always been really kind to me, um, willing to have a chat and sort of really embrace me as a, as a Lions player and I'd really like to thank you for that. Um, it's always been something that's been really special, whether, especially after we've got a, a win, um, to go down to Melbourne or in Brisbane, have the fans um, really clapping you on, and that's something that I'll definitely miss um, because you, it, it's, I'm never going to really experience that type of feeling again. So I'd like to thank you for giving me that feeling and supporting the club and me as a player personally. Keep behind the lines and uh, we'll see where the future takes both me and the club. Um, go Lions.